Hansen here with the latest in NASCAR automotive technology. When it comes to track design, there is one very important rule. Banking equals speed. Banking refers to how steep the track is in the corners. Here at Charlotte Motor Speedway, the corners are banked at 24 degrees, which, as you can see, is pretty darn steep. Drivers keep the gas pedal mashed to the floor in the straightaways. And the higher the banking, the more of that speed they're able to carry into the corner and the faster they're able to get back to the gas. In a sport that's all about going fast, speed is a precious commodity. Consider the difference in speeds between two tracks that are about the same size, Bristol and Martinsville. They're both roughly a half mile in length, but Martinsville is banked at 12 degrees in the corners, while Bristol is a whopping 36 degrees. And all the way to the top goes Jimmy Johnson, new track record at Martinsville. This spring, Jimmy Johnson won the pole at Martinsville with a 98.4 mile per hour lap. But just a few weeks before, Kyle Busch won over 129.5 miles per hour at Bristol. That's a difference of over 30 miles per hour, all thanks to the banking. Banking presents a setup challenge for crew chiefs who can adjust by adding camber to the front wheels. Camber is the angle at which the front wheels sit relative to the rest of the car. By putting negative camber into the wheels or tilting the top of the wheel towards the left side of the car, the tires are set more in line with the track's banking, giving the car that all-important grip. I'm starting to wish I had better grip in my shoes. I definitely have respect for the guys and gals who climb these turns every weekend. For the latest in automotive technology, keep it here at NASCAR.com.